Cockers! <laughs> Sorry. I had a phone call. Indoors, like nobody's gonna fuck with me. Max, dude, how are you? That's not a okay, Roar. whatever. Rar XD, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, I could tell. Oh, sorry. Making my way back home. It's been a long day. Time to see my fluffy dog. Fat bitch. Oh, <laughs> Just scared me. Oh, you wet. Mm -hmm. You want something to eat? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 Perfect with the sound. you doing this season but i know my blessings on the way i can just smell it i just feel it just that fast god you stop playing with me you playing i don't think he you likes you. it oh lord I know. See, you know i knew you were gonna come through see so many people doubt you but i can't live without you lord i knew you know what else i'm gonna give you some praise because i've never seen the righteous forsaken nor seen begging for bread i'm gonna freeze and give you some glory friends and give you some praise who would serve a god like this with a dick that pet away give it up what? What? The smiling doggy. All pixelated doggy. Can't even tell he's smiling.
Toast. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what the heck is that? Schmeagol. The kick him out of the house. <laughs> Metaphorically. Because he knows he can bite this fabric. <laughs> Did you see him chase me? Aww. <laughs> he thinks he's doing damage. Is that a pig? <laughs> <laughs> Ew. What are these? What is that? I don't even know what this is. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. No, I'm not a liar. I'm gonna start a liar. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my gosh. This magic moment. Why did that look like a mix between like train and slicker and like ice? What the heck? Are the windows breaking? Oh, it's Nemo! Oh, he said oink. That was cute. That's where the Rubik's Cube uh, aspect of this comes in, where you go, wow, I'm thinking about this stuff way too much. You're looking kind of fat, Gunter. I Gunter, love ice cream. you're getting fat, Gunter. Oh. Okay, watch this. Oh yeah. Whee! Yeah. I love Whee! ice cream. Woo! Feel the burn. I mean, I just like adventure <laughs> wow. times. Wow, this so. guy is obviously a Cartoon Network guy. He invested in the beard, probably a repurposed Santa Claus beard, so that tells me he's resourceful, which you have to be to be a voice actor. One thing that he gets at there is that the Ice King lives alone in this ice palace. The Ice King is about loneliness. He's a really lonely person. It's just Aww. him and his penguins who kind of only live with him because he feeds them. Again, Aww, much like cats <laughs> or snails. This guy gets that back and forth, that, that uh, mental uh, ping-ponging that tends to happen when guys are in solitary confinement for a really long time. So that was either an awesome Ice King impression or a cry for help. You be the judge. They call me the Ice King. What? Who dares into the Ice Kingdom? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know what Ice King means? Oh, you're trying to hit me. <laughs> he went the interesting it's route good own of doing voice, a Catherine but it's not a good, Ice uh, King fusion. Ice King. So uh, his voice is a little more high and keening than the actual Ice King, but it's a valid choice. I would say maybe that's what the Ice King sounded like in his 20s, before he got so bitter, but uh, still a valid uh, take on the character. Hey, how about the personals? Pepper. Rocco? Ooh, I love chicken. Man, you really caved on that pogo stick. I definitely thought you were gonna keep it. Wow. Rocco's Modern Life and Heifer was the first regular animated series I was ever on, so that's a really important one for me. It's where I first met Steven Hillenburg, who would go on to who? create SpongeBob. Steve oh. was a creative director on Rocco's Modern Life. When I went into audition for Heifer, I did my uh, basically an impression of my nephew who at the time was like 13, 14 years old, but he always acted like he was on the verge of laughing, <laughs> like he was always holding in a laugh. And what this guy nails is that, that kind of going up at the end of the sentences, hey Rocco, it's always kind of going up at the end, he never goes down at the end. Hi, I'm Heifer. Ooh. Oh, that was good. That part were only. That was a hoot. I dreamt that eels were biting my butt. I'm realizing Heifer is a harder impression to do for people than SpongeBob. I tend to play mm -hmm. a lot of characters without 
any filter, and they're often yellow. Unrealizing Dog from Cat Dog was one of them. SpongeBob is definitely one of them. And Heifer is, is for sure one of them. The thing about Heifer that this guy taps into is that there's no filter and there's always a lot of joy in him. Like, everything's wonderful. This guy is like the voice of my childhood with the girl who did um, awesome. the Rugrats. There's never any uh, negatives with, with Heifer. And SpongeBob's kind of like that, too. That's kind of impacted me as a person. Like, yeah, playing Tara's characters strong. that are kind of unrelentingly positive can't help but give you a more positive outlook on life, which is kind of interesting. So, uh, thanks, imaginary drawing characters. Powerpuff Girls, come quick! It's Mojo too hot. Jojo has written Miss Bellum out of the show! Is this guy deaf? That guy's deaf, right? <laughs> this young actor is very enthusiastic. What he gets is, uh, you'll see that his mouth is going all over the place when he's doing uh, the mail. It's that, again, that, that mush mouth full of marbles thing. <laughs> the mayor's often in a high state of distress. A lot of animation voiceover is really extreme, so Anything that it takes to get that sound, anything, anything that your mouth will do, or your face can do, or your eyes can do, or your arms can do, anything to get you to that place is all grist for the mill. And this guy's got a lot of grist. It's so mind-blowing and flattering to see people doing impressions of these characters and that they're still part of people's consciousness and their lives. But there's something about animated characters, the stuff that hits you when you're in your formative stages, that's the stuff that stays with you for the rest of your life. And uh, man, I've got a great game. <laughs>